it's a huge error. I mean, any way you look at it, uh, whether intended the collection, whether they disregarded the potential U.S. responses because they had done previous work like this, regardless of the reasoning, huge error on the part of Xi Jinping. But is this an accident or could it be something else? Uh, is it a planned incident against Xi Jinping? That's a really good question. What I think becomes, um, and I don't know the answer. Uh, I don't think anyone could have predicted things uh, what would come out the way it did. It's 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 extraordinary to think it went that way. I told them to shoot them. The spy balloon incident also begs the question of how strong the Chinese intelligence apparatus is and how it compares with that of the United States. I raised these questions and more to Nicholas Aftimides, Assistant Professor of Homeland Security, School of Public Affairs at the Penn State University. He was a senior intelligence officer at the CIA and the Department of Defense. Thank you, Nicholas, for joining Zumi in today. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, let's talk about the Chinese spy balloon. Um, how do you assess the reaction of the American intelligence services uh, to the incident? Do you think it was a good move to shoot it down the balloon after it had left America? Should the military have shot it down before it entered America? Well, I, I think ideally the military would have shot it down before it entered the United States, you know, when it was first detected over the Aleutian Islands. Uh, there's no reason to let it continue. China never informed us of it uh, until it became public and discovered. So um, there was no reason to let something which could potentially uh, be hostile enter our airspace. Yeah, so it, it's um, shooting it down. They, they could have taken it down in the United States as well. I mean, there are enough. It traveled over enough um, remote areas that that would have been easy. It um, they could have actually just taken it down with guns, not missiles, in which case it would have moved slowly downward. Uh, so it didn't necessarily have to wait uh, till it crossed the entire United States. Well, there's there, there are, however, a lot of complicating factors. They talked about the, um, if you notice, uh, explosive experts are the first ones who are looking at the wreckage. So uh, that actually tells us something. It tells us that, that there, and, and we heard from the military on this, that there was a concern that China had um, uh, would be willing to destroy it uh, remotely with explosives rather than let it get captured. Uh, mm. So, you know, so I'm sure that that was weighing a bit in the minds before bringing it down. And then, of course, having to bring it down over an unpopulated area and having to bring it down in a controlled manner uh, or relatively controlled manner. All these are key factors in determining uh, what to do. So I, I'm sure I would hope that um, the United States, what they call buttoned up, meaning uh, no emissions, uh, no transmissions at a military bases or um, communications channels that they didn't want China to be aware of uh, as the balloon was passing. That's uh, what we call denial deception uh, type of response. So I, I, I would hope that was uh, done in place as the as the balloon was passing. Right. Do you think the balloon could have gathered critical information about our sensitive assets? My, my immediate suggestion is probably not. Uh, you know, we'll know a bit when the sensor array comes down, you know, when they when they recover a lot of the sensor array. You have to bear in mind you have a balloon which is traveling maybe at 60 to 90,000 feet. Uh, and there's a lot of signals intelligence it can gather if it's doing a, a high resolution remote sensing, which is not likely, but it could be doing that. And then the question comes, well, which way is it looking? Because you don't know that. You have mm -hmm. something that's basically, you know, um, miles up and you don't know which way it's looking, if it's looking 60 miles to the east or to the west. So you don't really know what it's actually collecting on uh, as it passes by until you know what were in the sensors and uh, the altitudes. And they can actually run it back and see exactly during that time period uh, what they would have had exposure to. The Defense Department uh, came out and said uh, that they did something about it. So they were not able to gather like a critical information. We don't know what exactly they did, but uh, do you think we should trust them? Uh, are we talking about the Defense Department should we trust? Yes. yes. 
Yeah, I, I think this this is going to open up over quite some period of time. This may be a, a change in U.S.-China relations. Uh, I think they're going to be congressional investigations. I think they're going to be testimonies. I think the Congress is going to get briefed by the Defense Department and the administration. I think everything that is um, that can be known about this will be known. Mm. Okay. Well, um, I mean, this... There, there is a question, you know, why did China do this? Because, uh, you know, this is right before uh, Secretary Blinken Blink, was going Blink. to visit China. And this is obviously not good for Xi Jinping and Xi Jinping cannot be wanting this. So w w w what is your assessment? Do you think this is uh, Xi Jinping's idea? No, I, I, I don't think it's his idea. Um, but I don't think that this is, you know, if, if, it is correct that they launched three balloons before um, and America didn't publicly do anything about it, then there's every reason to believe that, well, you know, they're not going to say anything if we launch a fourth one and they just went off like norm. Still, the timing is sensitive and they should have considered that before they before they did it. Uh, so it's 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 a huge error. I mean, any way you look at it, uh, whether intended the collection, whether they disregarded the potential U.S. responses because they had done previous work like this, regardless of the reasoning, huge error on the part of Xi Jinping, huge loss of face. It's going to get a lot worse when the um, when the military shows this equipment to the press and it becomes worldwide and China is shown to be a Xi Jinping is shown to be a liar publicly worldwide, you mm. know. Huge, sense huge slap in the face for China. Very, very poorly done. Yeah, but I think previous times are very different from this time. Um, in previous times, the Chinese balloon entered the United States briefly and then left. But this time, it sat there for days. It is not like China does not have control over these balloons. They do. The Chinese media has bragged about it. They said, you know, we have the top technology in the world. Uh, only we can make this type of balloons and they have traveled around the world and have come back home safely. The fact that they let it happen this way make me wonder if this is a planned incident in China against Xi Jinping. Uh, is it a planned incident against Xi Jinping? That's a really good question. What I think becomes, um, and I don't know the answer, uh, I don't think anyone could have predicted things uh, what would come out the way it did. It's 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 extraordinary to think it went that way, um, but it may have been. Uh, and and of course, you know, as this becomes worldwide and as it becomes, you know, the footage of these sensors is displayed worldwide. Uh, that rests solely on Xi Jinping. Yeah. So so it is going to um, demoralize the party a bit. It's going to take. Um, it's going to take power away from him. It's going to reduce his stature. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it would be interesting. I don't think anyone knows the internal politics of the CCP on this particular issue. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they actually did it with the intention of um, uh, humiliating Xi Jinping or having this problem sit square in his lap, then, uh, then Xi Jinping didn't know about it. So uh, the CCP is opaque enough for the outside world, but internally he wouldn't have known about it either. So I, I, you know, I, no one is in a position now to say exactly what the story is. This program is not finished yet. If you want to watch the rest of it, please become a member of our website, zoomingin.tv. $5 a month or $50 a year. Cancel any time. You will have access to my extended interviews and full in-depth reports. For those who are not quite ready to become a member yet, you're welcome to visit our website as well. We have all the shows we publish on YouTube on our website. So in case someday we're no longer on YouTube, you know where to find us. Oh, you can simply donate to us on our website too. Finally, I would like to thank our sponsor, Shenyun Performing Arts. Shenyun is the best traditional Chinese dance and music performance out there. It illustrates a China before the Communist Party. You can enjoy Shenyun at your nearest theaters. 
For zooming in audience, please get your discounted ticket at shenyun dot live slash simon dash gao twenty three. More than just beautiful dance, it's a touch of the divine. More than just legends. It's the beautiful culture and wisdom of China before communism. More than just a performance, it's an experience that awakens the soul. See it at least once in your lifetime. Shenyun, an all-new production every year.